Hey, hello everyone. I am Dijama Stang, and today we are going to solve this try hacking machine. Machine name is Flip, and what they are saying is, hey, do the flip. So we have no idea what they are trying to flip over here. But this box is uh, quite young, uh, just like us, uh, just uh, one day old. So uh, we have already started this box, and the first uh, task is to source code. Uh, first go ahead and uh, review the source code before moving to task 2 so we have downloaded this uh, you know task file so you just have to download from here so we have downloaded on the on our local machine so just say name of the file is app.py is a python file and uh, we'll read this file with the cat command and first line is import socket server it's just importing the python uh, uh, modules from uh, cypher uh, they are doing the aes encryption then they are padding uh, then uh, obviously the, it needs a random bytes and they are using the ASCII keys so uh, apart from that uh, what they're trying to say okay i'm able to see the password that is super pass one and uh, they are using the 16-bit uh, block for uh, cbc now i'm able to see the message the message is saying access username uh, username they are putting over here then password they are putting over here then what the cipher cipher will leak the cipher text and uh, after that encryption key will be there and then uh, you have to enter the cipher key so uh, if we if, if we enter the correct algorithm or a correct uh, cipher key then we'll get the flag else they'll ask you to flip it off so the goal of this source code is uh, you have to understand the uh, algorithm of uh, cipher so that's the goal uh, we'll see what is the task to uh, then uh, just click over here. What is the flag? Yeah, that's what we are looking for. So what they're saying if you can uh, First of all, it's a login as an admin. Okay, so username is admin and the password is a super pass which we have seen over here Okay, super pass. So uh, This is a, a username and a password then what they're saying uh, whenever you're ready start the machine We have already started the machine and then uh, server is listening on the port uh, 1337 lead port uh, okay, so we don't have to use a uh, nmap or any other stuffs to enumerate the uh, services uh, And then uh, you have to connect the uh, the service with the netcat. So we'll do one thing. We'll uh, Connect with the netcat IP address and the port number. We know the uh, Username that is admin and the password we have already seen super pass, but not that easy. Goodbye so we'll do one thing we'll uh, uh, do one thing will uh, use a name and will type any random string so what is uh, what 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 is happening over here if you look at the source code they are where is that okay where they are taking this string they are putting the username and password okay here and then they are using this thing and then leaking the cipher text then use uh, they are putting uh, they are uh, appending the uh, encrypted data and uh, then they are expecting you to understand the this algorithm and uh, you know paste the correct uh, cipher text so we'll go over here we'll first make a correct code that is uh, username is definitely admin and the password we have seen that is a super pass what they are doing over here they are using a cbc cipher mode so and with with the uh, aes encryption so we if, if we look at the cbc how the cbc works uh, cipher blockchaining is basically first initial uh, initia initiation of the vector random number will be there the plain text will be there the 16 bit plain text will be there so we'll divide this thing in the 16 uh, blocks so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 correct so this is a one block then this will be the second block and this will be the third block so this is and then the random number will be there so like uh, dollar, dollar 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 so this is how the uh, cbc is working so everything is 16 bit block 
they have already mentioned over here if you look at the code this is the 16 bit block is there then what they're do doing over here is uh, so that's how they are generating the cipher so we'll do one thing uh, it is not allowing us to generate the cipher of this admin and the super fast so we'll do one thing we'll uh, spell it wrong and we'll generate the cipher so we'll connect we'll connect it we know the uh, username that is a d m i n but what we'll going to do we'll use uh, instead of a we'll use a b d m i n okay and password and we'll paste it now it will leak the cipher now we'll copy this cipher so how the cipher is working over here we'll again uh, uh, this is actually the 32 bit so this is a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so this is the 16 bit these are the 16 bits if you have any doubt you can check the length with the python python 3 yes Length. Okay, there was something wrong. Hmm, it's a 32. That means it's correct. Uh, we have uh, properly uh, divided with the 16-bit block. So this is the block of this cipher. Then if we look at the diagram first initial uh, random uh, number will be there with a plain text so plain text will be there then it will make a xor operation and then uh, aes um, uh, they, they'll make a aes encryption then whatever the cipher will be there that cipher text will be append to the uh, plain text and it will make a xor operation with the plain text and then the process goes on something like that so so first if we look at the a so value of a is a is uh, 44 uh, that is 44 then value of uh, oh, okay so we have spelled it wrong with a b so it is b basically so b is e8 so we'll quickly say this b is e8 but it is uh, performing the XOR operation and over here also they are uh, encrypting with the AES so we are at the decryption site so it will be a decryption of AES we'll say decryption of AES oh see AES so this is the value of E8 so this is not a value of B it's uh, after decry uh, decryption of e AES e a E8 is basically the value after the decryption of AES so so uh, this is B and we'll say decryption value E8 we need to find so how the calculation will be basically this 44 XORing I mean it is uh, performing the XOR operation with a decrypted E8 and that's how we are getting the B this is the B that's how we are getting the B value so if we look at the hex value of B If you look at the hex value of B is 62 so we'll make a copy of this otherwise it will be a very confusing so however we are getting the value is 62 so that means if we want to find the value of this after decryption so we have to find the original value of this so we have to make a XOR operation of 44 
XOR with 62 and that's how we'll get the decrypted value of E8 so we'll copy this thing again and we'll make a XOR operation 44 into uh, not into 44 XOR 62 so it's uh, 44 44 and 62 if we okay so we got the value that is 26 so basically the decrypted e8 value is 28 that's 26 sorry it's a 26 so we got the value of this one now we are so 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 basically the equation is we'll copy this thing and we'll paste it uh, so basically the thing is so this is what is happening over here this is a, 62 means B we know that so 44 ex, uh, performing the operation with the 26 and that's how we are getting the value of 62 so 62 is basically the B but we need to change it over here with the a so now we'll search for the value of a a that is a 61 so over here we'll say we need a 61 okay and once we make a change over here it will change it to the next cipher block that is over here so if we look at the uh, A's value that is a 44 that means this value will be changed it to something else so we need to find this now if we want if we uh, want to find this one thing this thing so we have to do one thing we have to perform XOR operation over here so that's how we'll get the uh, it's a uh, 26 XOR 61 it's a 26 XOR 61 and we'll perform the XOR operation it is saying 47 so now we got the value of the question mark that is 47 now uh, we know the string uh, that is where is that string this 44 something string is there so as we are changing it from b to a that's the reason it will change in the next block so next block will be a uh, start with the 47 the rest remaining all the um, alphabets or words are same so we ha just have to change the uh, first uh, bit that is 47 so just copy this thing and paste it where is that oh sorry paste it over here and we got the flag so it was pretty easy but it needs some uh, cryptography uh, concepts clear so uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a nice day